Hey everyone it's me again to tell you guys the story of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It is now that the animatronics are possessed by the souls of the children and William Afton is now to blame for the event. Jeremy would get phone calls every night on the job to tell him about the tasks he will do on the night shift. Jeremy would continuously perform these tasks throughout the night, it wasn't until the fifth day that Jeremy would receive a phone call about a yellow suit being stolen. Phone guy also mentioned that they tried contacting the original owner of Fredba's Family Diner, a restaurant that was left to rot after it was closed for three years. Uh, we're gonna try to contact the original restaurant owner. Uh, I think the name of the place was Red Bear's Family Diner or something like that. It was closed for years though. I doubt we'll be able to track anybody down. Uh, so just get through one more night. Uh, hang in there. Good night. The suit. We had a spare in the back, a yellow one. Someone used it. Now none of them are acting right. As it is mentioned in the phone call, the place was put on a lockdown and Jeremy is not allowed to leave during the shift, but after the fifth night he would recover his check, but he is told to return for one more night. Phone guy mentions that there is a birthday party planned for the upcoming day and he would have to come to work that day. But after that day the place was closed for good and the animatronics would be refurbished. There were no signs of William Afton and Henry was reported missing. Though years later Fazbear Entertainment would open a new restaurant.